Hello everyone, we're back, Do more medium. I've been honestly just so excited to carry on playing this game. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well in the chat. Hey Lady Cogs and Bella's here as well. So I'm not sure if we might have to continue that last little bit because we did finish off where it felt like a good place to finish off but then I did realise it was in the middle of a cutscene. So we may have to play a little bit at the end of the last one again. But it'd be like a nice little catch up so it should be good. this a little bit, but it's fine. Where we left off last time, we had just got away from that weird creature. Ah, yeah, then we fell down here, didn't we? And that was where we finished off. So 
we've now learned as well, any sign of the moth seems to be bad. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Oh, he's sadness. Yay. Marianne. I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Huh? It There's someone there. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Oh, that's cool. Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? That's cool. Are you trying to show me the way? Day route seven. That's there. We're here. Okay. Looks like sadness is actually guiding us where we need to go. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me. In a way.
ne? Da. Oh, was da? Is that? Oh God, it's everywhere. Was How many people died here? Someone's uh, squirted too much ketchup out. Well, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like that monster again. Give me the option of going down. Let's have a see. Uh, this is medium. It's a new game that's just come out. Uh, it's like a psychological horror slash detective game. It's really, really interesting. Uh, it's definitely got a few jump scares out of me already. <laughs> oh, there we go. We've got something here. There we go. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors wanted to go away. I wanted to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. She did. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. But Is that the nurse we saw yesterday? Why? Interesting. We saw the echoes of the nurse yesterday, didn't we? Two options. We can go in there, or can we push this? <sighs> now maybe we don't want to push it all the way because it looks like we might be able to get down there. Oh, it won't even let me pull that back. No way to pull that back. No, I can't pull that back. Let's hmm. go under her then. Remember when you used to play something like this and ask me to carry on playing it as you'd be too uh, scared to play? I can't remember exact game, but it was that bio something with the little girl in deep suit. Bioshock. Oh yeah, it was yeah the, when the Bioshock One originally came out. Yeah, and also System Shock as well. It was both of them when they first came out. Uh, I was genuinely like, I, I don't want to carry on playing this. It was too creepy, and then got you to play it for me so I could watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that was both Bioshock and System Shock. That. Uh, I have since played and completed them, but yeah, I think I, can't even, I think I was very, very young when Bioshock came out. I, I was extremely young when System Shock came out. But I can remember you became obsessed with System Shock as well. Got another echo there. Cover your nose. 
Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Dearest, I wish this was it. The moment I pluck up the courage and actually send this one. Seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox. Then why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. So is that why we're still finding all these postcards? You never found the courage to actually send them out? There's nothing that way. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once me was shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing, I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rakowicz. I'll probably go home this next spring, summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Pal, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. I guess it's the least I can do. Good old Frank. Hey, Shadow. Oh god, he's back. find some way of reaching those. Oh, he's Sadness! Whoa. Sadness? How did you... Ah, shit! Well, that's my seven years bad luck. Oh no! Behind us, he's back. Oh, we've got to go through there. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's laughing? Liking this because we saw Hello? him in the mirror. Anyone? Oh, is there anything here now? Not. 
voice. Why are you Come on, me? hurry! Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to go over that side now? There's a build up in the audio. I, I honestly think we're going to see the creepy guy again soon. I've already done that one, haven't we? Yeah. What is it? You want to show me something? What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Taking me back this way now. Oh, it's not. I think. Am I just getting confused, sir? something there. It does it automatically. Anything we can see in there with the insight? Oh. This now, maybe? No. I'm confused what's going on now, then. But it's a shade. <laughs> Definitely telling me to go here somewhere. Definitely missing something.
Because this is just taking me back and forth between here, isn't it? We've already done the tank. Shh! Here she comes! Guy? I reach a guy! Skip all that again. There's nothing else there. We can't move that again. Then. No, I'm not missing anything there. I'm confused. Follow the spirit trail. I have been following the spirit trail. It's not helped me. to the mirror I felt a slight tug in my pocket. Ah, he was telling me I to go to the mirror with that was picture, more to wasn't that figurine it? Than just carved wood. Yeah, he's he's around somewhere, isn't he? Maybe I need to do something with the cat. I can feel it calling out to me. On the other side again. Oh no. He's there, isn't he? It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Thank you very much for the whole shadow. deal with him again, aren't we? Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? How, how would you know that? <laughs> he was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. Are we going to have to find the kid's jaw? Oh. <laughs> oh god, there's faces in the walls. people. They weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart. Broken. Maybe I can find the one Bernhard's missing. I need to look around. Energy. That's good because we can deal with the uh, deal with the monster with that. There's another mirror there. I'm guessing I can use that to pass through again. Hey. 
Okay, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. So we could possibly use this mirror here? That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Nothing. Shit. Gotta find something to open the way. It looks like they're like porcelain faces, but don't forget the beginning of the game, her dad had the porcelain face. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. So maybe the Bernard. porcelain faces are their souls. Thank you. Ah, another cat figurine. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it too. Oh shit. Oh shit. So it seems it can only get us when we're on the other side, which is good to know. any longer. Oh shit. What the fuck? How? Hey Ragnar, how you do, dude? Believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. Fuck. Well there's my theory of we're safe on this side out the window. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. There's a mirror over there. I'm not doing too bad. Examination room. Okay. Great. Another mirror. details have emerged. Yeah, he's brilliant. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Locked. Okay, so we need a key for that. There's a mirror there. Are we going to be able to pass through that? Do we still have the cat on this side? We do, so we can use the cat on both sides. 
play that it doesn't just get consumed. find some for both of them. Is that showing me like ones through here? There we go. Aha. Postcard. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. Well, that one got a little bit darker than the rest we've read, didn't it? there, can we? I've got another mirror down there, though. Can't go that way there. But the floor's more substantial here. Wait, isn't this where we fell before? I think it might be. Can't go back this way. through our breathing. That didn't go well.
I didn't think he'd turn round. It's hard to tell as well with where he is. That was a that was a rookie mistake. You can just about see a blur of where he is. Not let me move. I just made it through. saying that, doesn't it? It all ends in me. This room has Guy written all over it, in big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? Ah, there we go. This is where it happened. Got her. 
There's gotta and we've be got to have a name as well. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. A page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. So we're gonna have to find the last little bit of that page, I think. Oh, there we go. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Let's see what else we can find first. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? So either Ali or Tori. I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. Put that piece on there. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria? That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. We're getting there. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... So Tori no, is her. No, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Right, so we've got that one and her face. So that's one down. Oh no, we need to be through that, don't we? Is he still here? No, okay. For now at least. Wait, can I not go back through there? Oh, so I'm going to have to actually backtrack through from where I was. Okay.
Wait, I can't get back through that way either. What more do you want from me then, game? <laughs> Because that'll only go back that way, but we don't need to be that way. We need to be the other way. We need to be this way. But it won't let me back under there. I'm a bit confused. Wait, am I getting this wrong? I am, aren't I? Yeah, they were both this way. I'm not gonna lie. It felt good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. No, this is where we're trying to be. Yeah, it was, that was me being silly. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. There's okay. one down. One down. One to go. Better get to it. That was my line. Stop stealing my lines. That's a creepy drawing. Do I hear our friend again? No! What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! Oh, there he is. Let's go and find a name. This is where he died. Okay, I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. There's a mirror over at the end, but I'm guessing with this layout, we're gonna have a visit here, aren't we? Sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. Just need to find out his name now. This way? Nope. An attendant 
Ingrid's list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? That's a lot of names to go through. I'm gonna have to find something now to... Ah, here we go. So there's numbers, isn't there? We just need to find out which one he was sat at. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. So he was across from Boris. We know that. We just need to see which number was Boris. The numbers aren't in order, though. Boris, Boris, Boris. It was nine. We've got seven. Five, nine. Ah, hold on. No, we might we might be all right. Four. It's that one. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Nicholas. Seat number nine. Are you really going to make me look at those seats again? I've already worked out. It's Nicholas. Come on. Come on, love. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. Yeah, it's that one there. So the one I'm looking for is... Are you really going to make me do that? Really? <laughs> this is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. You don't need to hold my hand through this sometimes game. <laughs> okay. He's right there next to me, isn't he? Oh my god. Move, I need to breathe. I tried to get a little breath. He's there, he's there, he's there. Is he going to be on both sides here? Because if he swaps back to this reality, he'll be able to see me. It's not just here, is it? Because in the other reality, he can only hear my breathing. Whereas in this reality, he can see me. That was too close, that. That was unbelievably close. I was sat, like, I was stood there thinking... Can he actually come out of the room? And then he fucking walked straight out of the room next to me. <laughs> if I didn't hold my breath when I did, I think he would have got me. Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. <gasps> Thank you. Already. 
There we go. Something there before we do, though. Mr. Rakowicz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, this poor Mr. Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations and I swear it sounds like the two people were talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Yes! Fucking finally! Time to get back to the day room. Okay. That hole was not there in the wall a second ago, was it? This place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the spirit you left. I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. Oh. But why? Okay. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkowski. Whatever happened to you? The test came back. No signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes and I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you. No matter what, I'll make sure you're happy as can be. 450 milligrams of Venlafaxi. That'll cheer you right up. So the nurse had lost it completely. We have bolt cores now. Hmm. So worth it. Hey, Retro, how you doing, dude? You bolt cutters. So let's see what got where we can get to now since we've got the bolt cores. Sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. I'm not sure about that one. But or sure. A movie star. Like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. Very fucking tired. Been on patrol since 4 a.m. Only just got back. 10 p.m. for reference. Oh, mate, get some rest. You need it. You've earned it. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Let's get this open. 
because we don't know a name. We have to know the go. name as well as have the face to help someone pass over, don't we? We don't know a name. All she knows the name as is Sadness. Yeah, she doesn't remember anything, does she? Oh, are we about to split reality? Yeah, split reality time. Okay. Oh, he's doing it this way around this time. Okay. Hey, there she is. There you are. Thank God. You're right. I was so worried. Oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? It came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. Uh, okay. Hey. Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow. Like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. Oh. The plot thickens. Are you there? We've got a memory here. on it. What are you doing? There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. 
remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak of, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he'd seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Doorway we can't get through there. Oh, right there. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilianne, I I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Wonder if Lilianne a sadness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It sounds like it, doesn't it? Spent a few years trying to stir him in the right direction. Trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-together as therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started his, on his way to becoming an architect. At first I was rather sceptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. Deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his vision to life. And then he met her. The painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them with every minute in my new detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of them. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peep beyond the edges of reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really any a difference? I know it didn't matter to me, as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste. That would be an unforgivable sin. So Thomas is the one that called us here and said that he's the same as us, didn't he? Right, so we don't have any power, so we can't get through there. Uh, locked. We need a key for that. I did not mean to walk in there. Oops. <laughs> uh, did we check that? Oh, the other piece of the music. So we just need one more piece. Are we meant to be having a voice like that? It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye. 
the horror and the splendour of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand would dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. Find another part to that then. But where? Got no way of getting through there yet. Hey, goblin. Can you forward what's happening with them? No, that's not... There's no, like, clock or anything around, is there? So we can't do the forwarding thing. The only thing I seem to be able to still interact with is this, so maybe I've missed something here. Wait, this seems... thick. Is this actually a letter, or is this... Hey, is this a piece of paper or is it a letter? Gather round, children. I want you to meet. Mm -hmm. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Friend. I don't think it is something that's openable. I mean, we can, but I don't think there'd be anything back that way. Yeah, we can't go all the way back down anyway. That's as far as it'll let me go. Yeah, I'm doing well. How about yourself, dude? So maybe there is something else to do with these, but... Don't you think he would be better off? And no, it's just repeating the dialogue again. Do a quick save here. No. Yeah. And there's no way we'd be able to run through that. Mon autopilot, I feel like a zombie. Everyone seems to be really tired today. Even I'm a little bit drained. I'm not sure I'm gonna do as long of a stream of this as, as I did yesterday. <coughs> I'm 
not seen anything from either side. There's all this growth here. Wait, was that something? Oh, that seems to be on the other side of that. I can't get that. Um, I'm really confused at what, what we need to do here. Because there's also this doorway here, but we can't go through there because, again, these vines are everywhere. Is there any way we can do anything about these vines? Use the uh, insight. Oh, shit, dude. That's not good. See, that's showing something through that window, but we can't get to that. Can't open that because we don't have a key. I'm lost. I really don't know what we're meant to be doing. got no power to shield ourselves. Fuck it. Do we just try and power through this wherever it goes? No, we can't do that without a shield. I'm confused. I'm really confused. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. I must be missing something. Oh, you can really make me go and read everything again, aren't you? <laughs> Richard? Are you there? Quickly we're gonna grab everything. No, we're still stuck in this room. The only thing you missed was me dying, being an idiot.
Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Right, we don't need to listen to all that again. Maybe I need to combine them now. Well, it's not going to help till I've got the third piece anyway, is it? I wonder if something's bugged out with the game, because I'm pretty sure there should be a, a voice line there, but she's not speaking. I'm just completely lost on what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I've got nothing I can put into it. Small, medium, at large. <laughs> There's nothing I can do with any of that, is there? Through the window, I can see that there. But we can't get to that because this doorway over here is also blocked. The only thing we can interact with is the echo which we've already done and this piece of paper which we've already done. There's nothing else there, is there? Get I want. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, that was fun. Oh, I feel like it'd be 
been defeated if I Google. But I can't think of any other option. We've been literally in this room now for like fucking... What items do I have? Flashlight, a razor blade, the two cat figures, bolt cutters, and music part one and three. <laughs> That's brilliant, dude. So is he, had he done something wrong then or something? We've been in this room now for like half an hour. I feel I feel like it'd be being defeated if I Google how to fucking do it, but I honestly can't work it out. Don't Google. Do Google. Next answer's a tiebreaker. No. Okay. Because I've like ran in a circle around this fucking room. What feels like 20 fucking times now. have nothing, that's the thing. The whole thing's barred off with these barriers. Can't go any further this way, can we? No. The only thing is this, which it keeps saying there's something missing. But we have nothing. I don't think we've got it's a razor blade. We can't use that on it. I've tried. We don't have any power. We've got no charge. I said, if I had power, I would have gone through the moths. Because we've got the moths along there, haven't we? Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's... We were, We've already oh. heard all that, haven't we? There's, there's nothing Don't from that. you think he... Would no, fuck off. All right. Like, the only thing in the entire area we can still interact with is that. But we've already done everything with that. There's nothing else on it. Gather round, children. I'm so fucking lost on what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, my bot's dead. None of my commands are working.
I think that's just atmospheric effects, the radio. No, fuck it, guys. I'm doing it. I'm Googling. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot about one of my powers. I forgot about one of my powers. I'm an idiot. Out of body experience. I forgot I could do that. Nice stinging bear. Right, there's that. Got enough of memory here. But that's in the other reality. Okay. See, if I didn't Google, we would have been there all fucking day. Because I... W yeah. I would not have remembered that fucking power. So let me close that. Literally, as soon as I saw the word out of body experience, so I've had nothing spoiled for me. Because as soon as I saw out of body experience, I was like, fuck, that's the one. <laughs> oh, good shout, Stinging Bear. in the middle. Middle. He's playing flicking over that middle so quick. Oh, okay. Why? Stop flicking over the middle so quick. Right. And that again. There we go. He was lovely. Another injunction. Maybe it can show me a way out. Oh, so rotating that rotates where the oh, okay. Rotate to there, we can get out of that door, I think. Got another door in. Powers. Oh, it needs charging, so we need. Ah, we need the other. In, like in the real world, that's something. a piano, isn't it? Is 
So we need to finish off the piano notes. I love this melody. You, you didn't buy a chicken, did you? Childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there. <laughs> How many jokes you buy me? <laughs> You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that. We called it. We called it. Lillian. Or Lily. Right, so now we should be able to get through that other door on the other side. Wait, why is that showing something there? Oh, that's through the doorway, isn't it? The memory. Richard, you were always there when I needed you. Oh, Let Richard. The favor. More information uh, about Richard. I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? So Richard and Thomas Rich, were friends. I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. <laughs> I completely missed your conversation then. I need goats as an offering to my lady friend's family. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It does fucking feel that way sometimes, doesn't it? Just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Reckon? I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. So a lot of dark stuff was happening in this place, wasn't it? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was just jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. The time I warmed up to her as well, she was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness. True love. Strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Niwa, I pulled up my, all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. Yeah, very true. Pickled stomachs. That should be all the pieces of the score now. Oh, here we go. Right, so we should be able to go use that with the piano. Which is then should power up the power. 
and then we should be able to go through the mops. The camera angle changes keep messing me up. <laughs> Right, so we're charged. This love scrapple, which has multiple different organs in it, I might be willing to attempt to eat some of it. Possibly. Right, let's get through this. No, don't get stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. As quick as we can. As quick as we can. There we go. I'm sorry, what is that? That's two hands, there's one underneath it. That's a big ass hand. <laughs> That's a big ass nope. <laughs> Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the... ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and... Something else. Hmm. Oh, were we just getting... Ah, uh, we're getting a guide. Up there. Ah. Creepy doll. Too bit old to be playing with dolls. Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me. Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside it. Oh, that's... That's creepy vibes. Creepy vibes. Don't like it. No! I just mean to... Hey, ton! It feels cold. What have you done? Oh, wait, did he accidentally kill Lily? 
Can we not with the creepy moving wheelchair, please? Thank you, game. Appreciate it. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> It's a fine ass wheelchair. <laughs> you experience your first vision of Thomas, the child eater. That's what I just got an achievement for. Where is it? Where is it? God fucking damn it! I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. Wait. You want what? Are they speaking to his sp spirit guide or something? Fuck! to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise okay, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes I can feel it okay it's around here somewhere oh well, it's real fucking specific Hey, I'm trying to help here. You know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? Oh. Yes. Yeah, it seems that way. Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Huh? Okay. But why is he separated? Because obviously we're just on both sides, same person. Or is they're separate? Yeah, exactly. It's like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. 
He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? F fucking bastard! How could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back, I'll just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Wait, so if him and his flip side self aren't entirely connected... Thomas. I wonder if his flip side I self is able to take the porcelain you. masks off people and trap is, them. Uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it? friend did i what my daughter my 13 year old daughter i entrusted her to you thomas did you do it i i don't i found this Forced myself to look through it. <sighs> cover to cover. Every single fucking page! <sighs> Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me, Thomas. You have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you do. No one should do. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear. I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Fuck you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I don't know what, what the fuck. This cancer has spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Oh wow, I'm actually playing as him. <laughs> also, if you notice, he's actually more rotten. If you think what what uh what we look like is it, all we've got is like the little frilly bits on the arm. I don't know how to describe it in the white hair, whereas he's actually rotten and broken, isn't he? Alright, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. I 
Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you. Made you what you are. Something here. It awoke on the day when she came to me. It I don't over, know. Made itself at home. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? Richard, your father forgot his knife. You'd better go and bring it to him. <sighs> All right, I'll play along. For now. Yeah, so he doesn't seem anywhere near as nice feel... about all this. Something's not right. Father, you forgot your knife. Huh. Thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! Yeah, that's Where why. Are you <laughs> the army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes, what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, um, Richard. You can't control the camera angle You're in this game. You're the man of the house now. Okay, all I can do is walk back. Yeah, Resident Evil cameras, exactly. Or Silent Hill. Tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. Oh, why is why is it not working? Don't let me spirit blast. Let's do something else first. Ah. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. 
Well, it's one of the reasons why I'm really enjoying this so far, is this feels very Silent Hill. As government representative to the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and re regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkowski. He whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will be forever grateful at the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. Grief. Anger. I can work with that. So we can't alter that clock like we could the other. Oh. I've, I've worked it out why there's a difference between the two characters. He feeds off grief, anger and loss. So he, he feeds off bad emotions, whereas she feeds off good emotions, doesn't she? Like hope and love and stuff like that. He's a sin eater. Yeah, effectively. Uh, okay then. But being brutally honest, like I always am. He doesn't seem quite as well voice acted. I'm just being hey, honest. Richard. Like the main female character, she's incredibly you well voice you can't acted. Catch me. But he feels a little bit what? Hey, off. Wait up. If that makes sense. Like it doesn't feel as natural. Richard, my arms are getting tired. Almost done. Yeah, like there's a lot of emotion in the female. I can't even remember her name Come now. On. Did we even find out her name? Yeah, Marianne. Marianne is in a yeah. Here. I'll try to bring more tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Trying to find out why he's or but what the monster what is, is inside of him, I think. It's something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. Just left on a rock. That's safe. <laughs> this way, silly. Rose? something then. Cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Oh, 
we can now go up those stairs, I think. Mom! Who is he? He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. Moving over it? No. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. What he's after? Oh, what? You want a bedtime story? I'm not your goddamn mother. Okay, that's not it. Charmer, that one. So his stepdad, I'm guessing it is. It seems like. Oh, you little shit! I'll teach you some respect. Yeah, like abusive stepdad or something. Me, you bastard. No. 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 Hold on, mommy. Go at me. Go at me. No. No. Please don't. No. No. This place again, but not at the same time. Richard! That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it does sound like he's trying to do a bad impression of Keanu Reeves. Hey, uh, Escape, how you doing, dude? Richard, where are you? H Hello? Richard, come out! Bring. That's all right, Richard. 
it's more than enough. So is she homeless or something living in a maze? I don't know. I don't know, I'm confused. Oh, Scape just got caught by his by his sister. That's it. You fuck now, Scape. This isn't funny. <laughs> Gonna go tell your mum. Richard. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, hey. I waited for you by the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. Don't let me know. Are you sure you're all right? I said I'm fine. Hey, if something happened, you can tell me. You are too young to be playing games. Uh, no, you didn't really miss that much. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Mommy? What's going on? So what it seems Shh, like... Listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! I'll catch you later, goblin. I'm really confused at what's going on. It seems... Son of Poland, who collaborates with the oppressor? got a stepdad after his dad died in the war and he's abusive and that's kind of steals from denounces or otherwise acts against his compatriots and he's kind of brushed off on him I'm thinking first house on the left right next to the river with the old cherry tree in front they're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboards they let them out sometimes to stretch out usually later in the day some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food. Best to come at night. Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Wait, is this going back to like World War II times? And they were hiding Jews or something? This is getting tedious. Where are you? I'm sorry. And the little girl in the maze is one of the ones to hide in. Oh, you reckon it's his mother? 
He's Jewish. Not enough way. No. Rose did a die. Yeah. He took her from me. You took her from me. I don't feel like I'm just going around in circles here. Yeah, that's the food again. Yeah, possibly. Well, not that way. I'm just running around in circles. This way, maybe? Ah. Oh, I know, this is back to where. I'm confused now. No, we haven't got the same kind of powers, have we, with this guy? No. 
Oh, we can go this way now. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. No. You're not Rose? Is that you? <laughs> That's all. to take a moment to catch your breath. Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here. overwhelming at first Thomas being like me but different somehow I guess I don't have to tell you
you're him. Richard. I am what's left of him. The bleeding wound. The sand drying on the stump. All because of her. Like the girl who suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. No, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. This time, it wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then, something clicked. That girl. It's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. Shit. Shit, yeah, she's a foster child, isn't she? Holy fucking shit. The plot thickens. <laughs> but that does also feel like a great place to end this. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm terrible for doing this. Holy shit.
This game is incredible. Like, it's just... Like, the more you play this game, the the more the bar is just getting set higher and higher and higher for how much it's going to fuck with your head in the best possible way. Like, this... This, this is fucking amazing. This really is. But that is going to be me done for the night. Or the end of the episode for those on YouTube. Um, for those who are watching the stream and want to catch up with the first episode, the YouTube episode will be going up. The first YouTube episode will be going up tonight. For those on YouTube, you probably already watched it. So it's fine. I'm not talking to you guys. Fuck off. <laughs> um, right, yeah, cool. I'm done. I will be carrying this on tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Thank you everyone for chilling today and watching. You guys have been amazing. But I've been the captain. I'll see you all on the horizon.